Hello Virgo and welcome to your November 2023 tarot forecast. We are going to start off by pulling a card to see what blessing is coming to Virgos in the month of November. So let's get into it Virgo. What is happening for you guys? Virgo, a blessing for a fresh start is coming your way. Now, as this is a general reading, all of you are wanting a fresh start in a different area of your life. Some of it, it could be a relationship, it could be a health journey, it could be an education journey, um, it could be a career path, all right? There is just some area of your life where you've really been wanting a fresh start, a change, new energy, a shift. And that is a blessing that is coming to you. And with this also, Virgo, some of you that have had a falling out with a friend, family member, or romantic person in November, this could indicate a beautiful reconciliation that it has a, a pure solid foundation of a new start, not dragging in all the stuff from the past but a true new start fresh start um for those of you who are going to be moving or relocating in november this is the start of a new journey for you a whole new path a lot of new stuff is going to come your way for those of you who are starting like a new job or um, a new schooling college postgraduate school, you know, anything like that to expand your career or change where you are currently employed, it's going to be a very positive shift and transition for you. Okay, so a fresh start is coming and it feels like a huge blessing. And, you know, Virgo, for some of you, this could just be all the way around in life. You feel like you have a new lease on life. So let's pull some more cards. Let's go deeper. You know, I noticed this before I cut the deck. Look at that. Sapling journey begins, Virgo. How perfect with that. Oh my goodness. And on the bottom, forgive them for those of you that are going to have this um, reconciliation. Okay, so we have obstructed view and blue feather with the message. Archangel Michael is on your side, Virgo, in the month of November. And I love it, this card, um, the coloring on it is primarily blue, right? And then we got this blue feather. So Archangel Michael is protecting you, is filling you with courage, also helping you communicate and express yourself and your truth and allowing others to communicate and express their truth to you, all right? So as you watch this reading, your view of the future of what's up ahead feels pretty blocked, pretty obstructed. Um, you don't really see how things are going to shift or change, how you could have a fresh start, a new beginning. Um, and for those of you where this is kind of already in motion where you're relocating or you're going to be starting a new job, having um, feelings of like apprehension and things because you really don't know. Um, but it's going to work out. It's good. Archangel Michael is leading you to better here. Also, with the blue feather, Virgo, there's unexpected messages coming in for you, okay? And this could be friends, family member, romance, um, but it's very positive. Expect positive news. Expect positive messages. Expect a new start in some area of your life. And even if you feel really lost, you can't see through... Um, the darkness, you can't see your life beyond, you know, a current relationship or job or living situation. All of that's going to change. The energies are really opening up for Virgo in November. Okay. And you're going to be able to receive that fresh start or start making steps towards that fresh start. 
and you have a lot of uh, support around you energetically, especially with Archangel Michael, and there's going to be support in the physical for you as well. So let's pull some more cards, Virgo. Let's go deeper. Let's see what else Spirit wants to say. Ten of Swords. Wow. A new, fresh start after something pretty hard, you know, um, to deal with, to work through a painful ending between you and a friendship, perhaps, or a romance or family member. But you're getting a fresh start. Also with this fresh start with this card coming out. Some of you who have been in a lot of sadness, heartache, and pain because of certain things that have happened... In November, you're going to find that that heaviness, that heartache, that sorrow is really lifting off of you. Nice. Next is the Wheel of Fortune, and that's another 10. So two 10s, absolutely completion. On the bottom, Ace of Pentacles, brand new, solid beginning. Brand new, solid, fresh start. Okay, a Four of Cups, Blended Pleasure, uh, The Hanged Man, and... Knight of Cups. What was once sadness and pain is now being uh, transformed, transmuted, and redirected inside of you, Virgo. And you're not going to feel hung up and stuck in this pain, in a rut. The Wheel of Fortune is, is turning for you, okay? And, you know, here with the uh, King of Cups, did I say Knight of Cups? I'm sorry, I meant King of Cups. Here with this King of Cups, you know, um, for those of you where you and a relationship are going to get things worked out, again, whether friend, family, or romance, this person is coming to you with a full open heart. And I don't think you see how much this person does care, how much this person does feel things emotionally. They might, you know, be uh, very closed off, very uh, mysterious at times, but this person has a lot of feelings about you, about what's happened here. They care deeply, and they don't want to be in this Ten of Swords, Hanged Man energy with you anymore. They really want to get this worked out. They want a fresh start, and... You know, with the hanged man sitting there, they have uh, evolved a bit consciously and emotionally as well as you through this journey. And for the rest of you, Virgo, it's like you start out in Ten of Swords, which is very unhappy emotional energy and mental energy, right? And then you end in this King of Cups energy, which is emotionally stable and solid and sensitive peace harmony flow the wheel of fortune turns from this ten of swords which attached to this ten of swords is just a feeling of like blase and being stuck shifting completely out of that into utter emotional balance happiness and contentment Page of Swords, yeah. So this talks about those uh, messages again, positive news messages coming to Virgo. Also pay attention to what you're feeling intuitively and the downloads that you receive because Archangel Michael is also trying to communicate with you and help you, help you navigate through the energy in which you can't see beyond at present. Nine of Pentacles, nice. Five of Cups. The Sun. Eight of Pentacles. 
And look at that, the Ace of Cups. It doesn't get much better, Virgo. You are shifting from a feeling of Ten of Swords into a feeling of Nine of Pentacles, which goes from sadness, loneliness, betrayal, uh, lacking purpose, lacking direction, into a place of feeling very solid, stable, independent, abundant, comfortable. And here it is again, the Wheel of Fortune shifting on that Five of Cups energy, sadness, despair. The Sun right here taking you out of this Four of Cups, just really feeling over it, wondering when it's your turn, why do you have to be so unhappy? But through this journey, through this experience, Virgo, Eight of Pentacles, you've really learned and you've grown. You've added a lot to your life toolbox, okay? And here it is, this fresh start that's being offered to you, whether through a relationship, through a job, through a living situation, just anything Virgo. It's a fresh start, the Ace of Cups, a fresh start, and that's attached to your emotions. And then this King of Cups attached to your emotions. This fresh start, these um, messages, this positive news, it really makes you happy. It restores balance for you. And you got the sun, okay? It doesn't get much better than that. Blessings, healing, enlightenment. But with this hanged man and this eight of pentacles, this journey was necessary for shifting of consciousness, shifting of personal perception in some capacity. And you've also received some emotional growth as well. And you're coming to the other side of this. And out of the major arcanas, you have the wheel, the sun, and the hanged man, which means here we've, we're stopped, we're stuck, because we need to see things from the other way around. Um, we, we need a different perspective. We need knowledge. We need wisdom. We need growth. We need maturity. We need something. Okay, and that's why we go into this hanged man energy. But you, Virgo, with this Eight of Pentacles up here, you have done the work. You've learned the lesson attached, the soul lesson attached. And now you go to the other side, Wheel of Fortune, where you feel blessed, where your heart is overflowing with happiness and joy, where positive messages are being directed towards Virgo positive news coming towards Virgo and you don't see any of this coming with obstructed view okay and lastly for those of you who have been contemplating a fresh start in any area of life November is the month to really implement that you have high probability for great success Do you know what? Some of you, um, my singles out there, this blessing on a fresh start, that King of Cups and that Ace of Cups, that's a brand new relationship coming in for you romantically. And Archangel Michael helping to bring you guys together to make this happen. So, wow. All right, let's pull one final card for go. Major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Wow. How perfect is that after this whole message, Virgo? Yes. You are blessed. There are surprises in store for you in November. So those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.